So what's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Pamela. So I've been playing this game for a little while now and uh, I've been playing it kind of offline just to see if I could learn a few things and I have gotten a little bit more advanced than where we were. It's still uh, not an easy game to learn because there are no instructions. However, uh, this is becoming a lot more interesting as I go along and this is a very addictive game. So anyway, uh, once we get into the game, then I'll kind of show you around to what has advanced. Okay, so if you recall, I've made this upper second floor lobby my home base. And since that time, uh, the last episode, I guess, I've gathered a few more items. I have a better version of that power unit, which is kind of like a streamlined mod for Warframe. It makes things more efficient and you don't have to use as much energy. I have this overclocking unit in my utility which actually increases the performance of everything so you could think of it like a serration or something like that that uh, increases damage for everything. And so yeah, I mean, things are improving and as you can see I got a ton of junk here including this cryo sphere. And this is really nice. I got this by uh, using one of my uh, security passes to open a Inferno level uh, locked item. And uh, the nice thing about this from what I can tell is that if you recall every time I died I had to start over a new game. But with this cryosphere I think what happens is it spawns you right back where you um, put the sphere into a cryo chamber so so long as you have a few of these around so far I have none and so I'm still having to restart the game if I die which is not an easy thing to do uh, but so long as I have these things and install them in cryo chambers then I could respawn in the cryo chamber now I'm not sure if this is multiple uses or if this is a single use but in either case uh, my uh, goal right now is to go back to that original wow there's a few of these um, bad guys here I'm gonna have to clear them out first oh oh yeah and watch this now oh that's the wrong one yeah, I finally was able to figure out what the Pamela powers are and how to activate them or really how to equip them. So now I have this power that knocks all these guys out down and then I could use my uh, Butcher's Blade at least for the first shot since they're trying to get up. And that helps me. Oh, where did he go? Yeah, and that helps me uh, take these guys down with less hits. Let me just let this guy go down first. Oh, here's another one. Okay, whoa, 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 okay. Ah, thank God for the repercussion shield. Come on, come on. Okay, oh, some whiskey. Yeah, I guess I'll steal it from her. Okay, yeah, and in any case, yeah, this uh, Pamela skill is really nice because of the fact that now I can uh, kind of shoot them once anyway and knock them down. And while they're getting up, I could use the Butcher's Blade for my first shot. Now it does take a little bit. That's a robot, so I don't have to worry about it. It does take a little bit of time to uh, charge up again. But once it's charged, uh, I could keep on shooting it without worrying about the loss of energy. It just has to res um, reset itself, and then I could use it as many times as I want. Um, the other one, the defense one, which I accidentally turned on, was uh, the ability to, for a short time, to light up the area. And so... I do have my flashlight so it's not as important but the offensive one where you can knock them down is really nice. Okay so I'm gonna go on to that cryo chamber and once I get there then I think I'll get back to you. Okay so I'm here at the original cryo room where we first spawned and now let me use this cryosphere and cryocore and yeah good so now if I get killed I should respawn back here again without having to start a new game there's a few items kind of junky items that I still have here okay so that's really nice and all I have to do I guess is to somehow make it all the way back to that other 
base uh, area and then I could re-equip myself with uh, some items. Now what I hear is that if you get killed then all your items kind of are dropped at that location that you get killed. And so that can be a little bit problematic. So what I'm going to eventually want to do is to get uh, multiple weapons and uh, shields and stuff like that and uh, drop them in that area where I spawn. Uh, according, yeah, that's just a dead body. According with the uh, food and drink and a few other things so that I could at least make it to the secondary or the main base which I have now in the main lobby. Okay, so I'm going to keep on going and just check around here to see if I forgot anything and then uh, I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, not much more to see in that cryo area for the moment and so let's get back to the main lobby. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the hospital is a lot brighter now which is really nice and one of the reasons why is now that I know where that power transfer station is I could just get power anytime I want to and because of that I'm just keeping this whole place uh, lit up all the time and so I don't have to worry about putting it into that dark gloomy emergency power you don't where you don't know where everything is now the one problem with this is that the vending machines don't work at full power so I have to at least in the first run so what I have to do is bring it back down to emergency power take a look at the vending any one of these vending machines once and then go back to actually bringing it back up to full power and then this seems to uh, work all the vending machines seem to work and luckily there's always that one vending machine right here so all I have to do is lower the power look at the vending machine and then I'm okay okay so anyway yeah I mean we are progressing pretty well uh, one thing I do have to uh, note is that uh, any area beyond the hospital is still completely out of power since I got to find the power transfer units in those areas. And I know for the promenade it's in an area that's not easy to get to. And so, yeah, I think for the moment what I want to do is to continue to power up uh, my base area and make this as... Uh, stable as possible and then use this base area to start expanding on uh, the capabilities around here so what I'm that's gonna mean is I'm gonna have to keep on uh, making this character more powerful uh, I'm gonna have to make sure that uh, I don't run out of food and water and uh, somehow improve on the power capabilities our power efficiency so that this hospital can remain as it is so I think that's gonna be my goal over the next few episodes is to just strengthen the base area. Uh, sorry, I'm on a little patrol. If I do find anything else, uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, and uh, I think we need to go back now and restock the power of this building. Is that a zombie over there? Uh, I can't tell. Yeah, I think that's a zombie over there. Yep. Okay, let's take him down. Oh, he's just spinning around. Well, let's see if he'll come over this way. Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe I should take him down while he's alone. I am a little bit worried. Oh, there he comes. Oh, bad timing. He got me before uh, I could dispel my Pamela power but that doesn't matter too much anymore I think I could take him down pretty easily good is there anybody else good oh what's that kinetic amplifier huh okay let's take it back I th sounds like it's some sort of uh, utility item that helps improve the speed or the power of your weapons. I don't know how different it is from the overclocking system and unfortunately I got a feeling it takes place of the uh, electron pulse which I don't want to lose. I really like knowing where the uh, enemy are so uh, I may not use this item. But it's good to have, for example, I could always drop it at that spawn location, respawn location if I get killed. And at least I have some other items to uh, 
equip myself with if, while I'm trying to get my original items back. Okay. Good. I gave this building more power and now I'm starting to make it routine. Yeah, the other reason I want to stay here a little bit is because of the fact that the uh, zombies here are not as nasty as they are in some of the other places. There are some nasty zombies that pop up here but not as often. And I think once you get to places like the promenade you get some really nasty zombies coming out. Uh, I did see one which was seriously scary and so I ran away. It kind of looked like it's some guy with four arms or something like that. So yeah if I uh, get caught by one of those guys I think I'm gonna be dead meat even now so I'm kind of uh, making sure I can uh, improve my strength here and then keep on going from that point on okay let me keep on going on patrol okay so coming down back to the first floor I think this is the basement this isn't the first floor I think ups oh Oh, I gotta be careful with that lady. That's the mad, mean lady. She is kind of scary. She's not the... Uh, whoa! -ho 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 -ho. Yes! Oh, yeah. I love the Panela skill. Oh, she got me, though. Oh, man. You are seriously scary. You look like you would stab me 200 times if you could. Oh, got a bone mending kit. I still have no idea what that bone mending kit does and how it's different from the med hypo, but uh, I'll take it. Okay. Okay, well, keep on looking around. And now that I've collected enough credits, I think I want to take a look at this equipment vending machine here. They have some pretty interesting stuff. Okay, so is there anything I want to get? I might want to get this, which is, uh, no, I don't want to hit the vending machine. Yeah, I got one of these, which is a garden, a hydroponic garden. And I got a bunch of seed packets, and I'm not sure if I have enough fertilizer. But I'm hoping that I will be able to grow some food, at least in the base here. And then uh, we will be even more independent of uh, running out of food and stuff like that. And so, yeah, I mean, I got all this stuff. I have the solar charger now, and I have the power uh, transmitter. And now I just have to put this hydroponic garden there we go uh, right here and what the p power transmitter does is if I can put in an ion core that's charged up which is kinda like a battery then it'll power everything near it including this um, garden here's a I I do have an ion core but uh, first I want to take a look to see what seed packets I have uh, where are my seed packets? I know I have one around here somewhere. Uh, that's just an energy cell. Uh, okay. I know I have a seed packet around here somewhere. I picked up a bunch of them. I don't know why I can't find them anymore. Okay, let me go take a look at the seed, uh, look for the seed packets and once I find it then let's try this out. Okay, so after looking around for quite a while, I couldn't find any seed packets. Uh, I thought I had some in that area, so I'm going to check uh, in the uh, other uh, base rooms and find out. Let me just take care of this uh, zombie here. Ouch. Whoa, 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 there's another one. There's another one. No, 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 I got two. Oh, man, I hope I can take them both down. This should be interesting. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Okay, let me take this one guy out, or one lady out, or one zombie. Oh, ouch! That hurt. Wow, I'm getting beat up here. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's try it again. Ah. Uh, 
Come on, come on. One of you go down, please. Whoa, before I... Ouch. Before I... Uh, oh, finally. Yeah, before the shield runs out of power. Wow, I got nothing out of that. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, I guess I don't have any sea packets. I better go back. I'm running out of uh, health. And I don't want to die here. So, and it's getting to be that time where maybe I should cut out. So, um, yeah, let me get back to the base room. I am kind of glad that I made the base up here because it's really easy to access. It, I don't have to walk all the way to that cryo lab again to uh, keep on doing uh, resetting myself and making sure I'm okay. Oh, let me open this. Oh, let me open this. Yes. Okay, so I think I will call it a day and we'll figure out how to turn on that garden. Uh, later once I can figure out where I put my seed packets Okay, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of Pamela as you can see we're uh, continuing to uh, strengthen the base area as well as the character and so uh, Hopefully we'll get stronger and then we'll could we could go exploring more Anyway, it's been a pleasure making this video for you uh, If you have any comments, please post them in the comment section below if you're playing Pamela I would like to hear your experiences um, But in any case, uh, thank you very much for watching the video and as always until the next video Jaya nice day everyone